In this video, we're making a coin really fast. Make it a token we can sell it to our friends and enemies. In all seriousness, there's definitely gonna be way more to learn about. And we're gonna make more videos, put them in the description, or make this one part of a playlist so you can have easy access to the other videos as well. Let's get started. So here we have two web pages. The first one, the Ethereum Miss releases page. Miss is a wallet that we're gonna be using to deploy contracts. It's an official wallet created by the Ethereum Foundation. So in version 11, they actually start connecting to remote nodes instead of downloading the full node. So if you've used version 10 or below, you know that it could take hours to sync. So if I were you, I would download one of these. But of course, this is the beta version and hot fixes could come up. So it's up to you if you would like to stick to version 10. Next, we have the simple token code, also created by the Ethereum Foundation. This is going to be an ERC20 token. And we're gonna look at the constructor. So we will be supplying an initial supply token name and token symbol so what happens here is total supply is set to initial supply multiplied by 10 to the amount of decimals next we set the balance of the message sender to the total supply so whoever creates this contract will have all the tokens created in their address and then we set name to token name and symbol to token symbol cool and now we will start at mist and this is where we will deploy a new contract remember to use an account with at least a few dollars of ETH and now we will go to a simple token code, scroll all the way to the bottom, and copy and paste into the section for source code in the Miss Wallet. And now we will select the token ERC20 contract, and now we have the three inputs, initial supply, token name, and token symbol. For initial supply, let's put in one million, token name, test token, I know this has probably never been done before, and token symbol, TST. And now scrolling down to the fee section, let's put it somewhere in the middle. And here I usually like to check to see how much a transaction costs in dollars before running it. So we will multiply the ETH maximum fee by the current price of ETH. So this will be around 78 cents, which I happen to be cool with. Now enter my password and click send transaction. All right, it looks like it worked. And now we're gonna wait for 12 confirmations. You can also click on it and then click on the tax ID, bringing you to an Etherscan page that's also another place that can keep you updated. But yeah, waiting on them, 12 confirmations. A few moments later. All right, so it successfully confirmed over 12 confirmations. And now if we go to Wallet, and if we go in here, we see 1 million TST that we can now send to our friends, our enemies, whoever. Here you can send funds to another address and decide on what token to send, how much, and the fee you're willing to use. Make sure the fee is affordable. So it doesn't look bad, but let's have a check anyways. Multiplying the fee by the current ETH price gives us 2.3 cents. It looks like that's all she wrote. And remember that in the future, proof of stake is going to drive that ETH transaction price to almost nothing. So I hope that was useful. Remember to send me some of these tokens. Somebody will buy them. If you have any ideas for future videos, let me know in the comments. If you like the video, like and subscribe.